Hey everyone, let's talk about Sorcerer of the Wild Deeps by Kaya Shanti Wilson. This is a short book, about 220 pages, it's fantasy, and I heard a little bit over Books and Pieces say how beautiful the language is and how wonderful it is. So I thought, why not give it a try? And I didn't get it. I started reading it and I was confused. I felt the language was more like gangster rap or some kind of weird gangster in fantasy setting, and I was confused. I totally didn't get what was going on. I couldn't find the beauty in the story or the language or anything. So after about 20-25% in, I decided to restart fresh. So I went back to the beginning and reread everything that I had read already. And all of a sudden it made more sense. I understood things that I didn't pick up on before. And I understood how the story told itself, how the storytelling and the narrative works. Because sometimes you were just going forward and then there was a flashback, but it wasn't really properly enacted or you realized it was a flashback if you weren't paying attention or it was a memory or just thoughts and some people just talked with like eyes and it was presented in thoughts and you just really had to understand that they were talking to each other even though they weren't really saying anything and all of these became more clearer the second time I read the beginning so from then on I understood what was so good about the language and I understood the story a lot more the setting of this caravan traveling up the road and through the wild deeps which is a magical area and there's a lot of magic in the story which is explained on the way and not explained just sometimes it's just there and it happens but there is no real background and at first it confused me but at the end it didn't really matter because not everything can be explained so as soon as i understood how the story worked and the narrative I got much more out of the book. The same with the language. In the beginning, I was just confused. I really didn't understand what this was. And I found myself not understanding a lot. But the second time around, I noticed that there were a lot of words I didn't know. So I started looking up all the words that I couldn't really make sense of. And that helped me a lot. Because the author was using not the standard words, the simple words that I knew, but older words or old usage of words or much more poetic words for some things in saying the same thing that I would have said completely different. And that explained a lot more. And as soon as I understood that, the language became more beautiful because I understood how it worked and how it told the story. So the more I understood how this whole thing worked, the better it got. So the challenge I had to face in the beginning of being a non-native speaker and not really understanding what was going on really turned the story into a beautiful thing because sometimes putting in work to understand something adds a little extra value to it. Also, the more I understood the characters, I really fell in love with the narrator and the main characters of the story and the relationships going on. And I was just like so engrossed in it that reading this whole thing was just like listening to a bad time story where you wanted to know what happens next on the next step of the travel and on the next step of the road and to the characters and how they met and how they got together and how they've built this bond that exists between them and who these people are and there are a lot of unanswered questions still at the end but you just kind of feel satisfied and heartbroken a little bit but it's so beautiful to read this story that i definitely think it was worth sticking to it and just rereading the beginning and going that extra step to start over and say this must be good because elizabeth said it is good and now I want to hear if you have read the story, if you are interested in reading it, if you've ever done something like that for a story that you didn't have to read for school. So let's talk about Sorcerer of the Wild Deeps. And if you haven't heard of Elizabeth yet, I don't know where you've been, but go check out her channel. She has the best recommendations ever. Thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.